In the 20th century, people began trying to say this. This, of course, is extra-biblical speculation, to say the least, and extra-biblical speculation at its worst. We interpret the Old Testament in light of the New Testament revelation of Jesus. It is obvious that what Ezekiel saw is what John saw in Revelation chapter 1 and in Revelation chapter 4 in the New Testament. No, it was not a flying saucer. It was obviously an angelic vision. It was a heavenly revelation. But to say that it was some kind of extraterrestrial spaceship is utterly nonsensical. That's not what Ezekiel saw. Nothing that we read in the New Testament making reference back to Ezekiel chapter 1 would indicate that. And in fact, as we read further in the book of Ezekiel, when Ezekiel uh, is given his messages by God, references are made back periodically to chapter 1. But again, nothing that would indicate extraterrestrial life. Absolutely nothing whatsoever. Thank you for your question. My name is Jacob Prash. God bless. Thank you, Jacob. Blessings, dear friends. Greetings in Jesus. This is your friend Jacob Prash speaking to you at the moment from the UK. You know, so many of the questions we get in our Roku broadcast and on our Vimeo clips and on YouTube deal with subjects that we deal with much more extensively in our books. We can't, for the sake of brevity, uh, go into the kind of depth in a TV broadcast we can actually go into in a book. But so many of the questions come from material that are expounded in the books on a much more broader scale that it's almost frustrating sometimes that we can't spend hours and hours answering the questions that, that are given to us. Obviously, practicality dictates that's not a possibility. The books are there. They're available. They're available in print through the Moriel catalog on the Moriel website, moriel.org. But in this day of Kindle and electronic books, they're also available through Amazon, and they're available through Kindle. Kindle. The three books that would be the most referred to in the questions we receive are the three latest books. The first being The Dilemma of Laodicea. The Dilemma of Laodicea is an exposition of the seven churches in Revelation, culminating with the final two churches, Philadelphia and Laodicea particularly, setting the stage for the return of Jesus. The Dilemma of Laodicea would be the first. The second would be Shadows of the Beast. Shadows of the Beast. How the coming Antichrist how his identity will be revealed to the faithful church. The rapture will not happen, will not happen, absolutely not happen, until the faithful church knows who the ultimate beast of revelation is. That is the Antichrist and also the false prophet. How the identity of the coming Antichrist will be revealed to the faithful church, Shadows of the Beast, the second book. And the final and latest one, Harpezo, Harpezo what the scripture actually teaches about the rapture, the snatching away which takes place between the sixth and seventh seals in the book of Revelation. So these three books, The Blum of Laodicea, Shadows of the Beast, and Harpezo, all available on the Morio catalog, all available through Amazon, and all easily available electronically by Kendall. Thank you so much, dear friends. God bless. May Jesus be with you.